Okay, there is a standard called Web Service Security, and in this video I will show you how to use Apache CXF on the client side to talk to a service that is secured by this standard. So, a uh, little background information first to give this a context. Um, I created this uh, small uh, web service myself uh, that uh, takes a modulus request get the device from this. I think this is misnamed. It should it should have been called div divided. I think it's the correct term. But it, it, it takes this number and uses the modulus operator on with a I think this is a device or five and will get the reminder back. So the and then it will send this as a response. So what, what this method actually does is so that uh, I prepared a little class here just to show you this operator in Java. So it takes the number of times you can divide 14 by 5 uh, first one time and then one time again so that's 10 and then there is 4 left as a reminder. That's the mathematics of it. So let's run that Java T and you can see that it says 4 here. Uh, and if we change that like uh, let's change this number to, to 8 Let's do that for clarity also in the output, uh, the system outprinted, so it says the right thing, what it actually does. Uh, um, so it now says 3 here. So you, you, you can divide 8 by 5 and get the whole number one time, and what's left of it is then 3. Uh, okay, so. Anyway, that's, that's what this method does. And if we want to call this web service, which I've started on my local machine here, with, this is the VSDL file for it, and this is the URL, uh, then I can do that by um, uh, my own. No, where did it go? Here. Uh, I can do that by using this request and using a CURL. So this is the XML that I will send to it uh, using the CURL command or curl command. It will save the output in the response file here. So let's try it. Uh, now we got the response from the web service here and Then you can see here that uh, we got the number three out of it. So it's correct. We sent it eight, we got three back. Okay, we can of course do this also in, in um, SoupUI. Here I have the same thing. I send in the number eight. I expect number three to come back, and here you can see number three. Okay, so uh, we can also do this now in Apache CXF. So let's try that. Okay, so here is the code for doing this, but here you can see that th this is red, there is no classes for this, so we have to generate them first by using the uh, VSDL file that I could download uh, from the web service itself. I added this here to the resource folder, and then I used uh, this plugin here uh, to... Uh, to um, specify the, the VSDL file and use VSDL to Java as the command which will generate code in this folder. Uh, and then I added another plugin uh, which will add these generated sources to the project so that they are available to the uh, this is IntelliJ AD, EDI I think it's called Integrated Developers Environment. Uh, so, to, to execute this, uh, then I uh, go back here and type maven generate test sources and then it will compile uh, or you, uh, it, will, it will generate the test sources using the VSL file and the VSL to Java command. And if you look here now, we should see here that we got a target folder and here are the generated classes. 
so uh, we can use them now in our project. And, and here you can see the service is called Modulus 5 and the port, uh, I get it like so. Then I change the endpoint, so I set it to my endpoint where I've started my service. Um, I add a logging, out of, lo logging interceptor so I can see the request that I'm sending. And then I use the method to uh, get the reminder and print it out, like so. Let's run this and see if it works. Okay, so we got it back, uh, the number three here, which, which was what we expected. And here we can also see the request that we sent. So this is the exact same as we saw here in Soup UI, for example. Okay, let's change our service now. This is like out of the scope of the, this video. Um, but I add web service security to the web service now. This video is just focusing on the client though. And I set the password and username that is needed for this to demo is a username and password is abc123. I will not explain this code. Uh, and then I start the web service again. And then if we go for example here to soup UI, uh, then if we make soup UI a little smaller so we can see the logging of the service here also. Uh, if I try to send it now, uh, you see here that we get a fault string back. No web service security header found. So we have to specify that. And then I happen to know what the web service security should look like. Uh, should look like this. So I add this to the request, Diabo, and uh, here is the password one two ABC123. And we run the request again, and now you see we get the divider. Oh, we get the number three back again. You can change this to like seven, good then should we get two? Here it says two. Okay, good. So we know that it works now. How do we do this now in Apache CXF? Well, the code for doing so, uh, uh, I comment away here, but now I will add it. So, there are some properties that you have to specify. The action is username token, the user is demo. So, this is the, this is the username that is required. And then we specify something called password type. So we, we configure now the web service security on the client side. And the password type should be a text password. And then I set a password callback class. And that is now the password handler class in this example. And what's the code here? Well, let's look at the password handler class which I have here. This implements the callback handler and it takes a number of callbacks. And we take the first callback, which is a web service security password callback. And then from this variable, I take the get identifier and check if that's equal to demo, which is the username that I wanted to use here, uh, which I specified here. Here it says demo. And if it is demo, then I will set the password to abc123. Then I will add these properties to the web service security for Java out interceptor. And then I will add that out interceptor to the client interceptors. And the client is, a, a, in, a, is something that we got uh, from, the port or, from the port here. Uh, okay, so that's how you add the username and password. So sometimes it has been confused that people try to set the password here. That's not correct. You set the type of password here and you use the password handler class, which I specified here, to set the password. 
And now let's try to run this again and see if we can get uh, number three back here from this operation. Uh, so I run it now. And here you can see we're still getting this uh, number three back, the reminder. And you can see here also that the output here now also contains this header which specifies the username and the password like this. Okay, uh, just one more thing. To get this to work there are a few dependencies that we need to use. Uh, these are the dependencies from uh, for, for Apache CXF and this is the special web service security uh, dependency that we need. If we take this away, I comment that out, then a lot of classes here will become unavailable. So it will not find this. And here also all these uh, classes uh, are unknown. So they were imported from this dependency. Now they're back. Okay, so I will put the source code in the link somewhere under this video. Uh, hope you uh, learned something from this. Uh, thank you for watching.